we had a very interesting and thought-provoking discussion on geopolitical and security challenges, obviously, because of the uh, current situation in the world. Uh, but everyone who made uh, interventions clearly recognized the interconnected nature of the world, particularly the Indo-Pacific and Europe, and stressed the need to continue to work towards the, this connection uh, and further Everyone uh, was in uniform, uh, stress the need for the f need to ensure the freedom of navigation, free flow of commerce, and to prevent any obstacle which could have damaging consequences. Uh, it was also the idea of uh, most of the interventions that we must continue to talk to each other and resolve the issues and give diplomacy a chance. Uh, because that's the only way uh, uh, we can proceed. Uh, it was also agreed and stressed uh, that peace and stability is prerequisite for the prosperity of the globe and the region. And uh, further, it was also agreed that no region or country uh, can survive in isolation, and integration had become a part of uh, the common way of living today. Parties also stressed uh, and concerns regarding various conflicts, mostly based on the proximity to the conflict to them. Uh, Russian aggression was a major issue for our, uh, uh, participants, particularly in the region, for obvious reason. Uh, it was stressed that the um, UN Charter on Sovereignty need to be respected. Uh, it, it was also brought to the notice uh, of the participant by many countries about the manner in which the conflict in Gaza is turning out and the need to protect the human lives there. Uh, some of the colleagues from the Indo-Pacific raised their concerns about the evolving situation in the South Sea uh, uh, South, in the South Sea, South China Sea and the South Sea. It's important all of, all of them stress the need for rules-based order and those rules need to be determined and one or two powerful nations should not be allowed to change the rule to suit uh, their convenience. Uh, it was also brought to the notice of alarming double standards uh, when it comes to responding to some conflict in some areas where uh, same standards were not uh, given. So therefore it's important that in order to gain credibility that uh, uh, same standard and respect should be given to all conflict in order to achieve uh, long-lasting peace. Uh, it was also stressed while we get involved in this global uh, power rivalry, we shouldn't forget about other challenges where we can agree and fight together. Terrorism, cyber security threat, SDG challenges, climate change challenges, connectivity, and technology transfer, particularly in order to support the agricultural advancement of the countries where they need so. So thank you very much. I think these were the issues we discussed on that particular table. Thank you, thank you, Minister Savary.